Paycheck Bait's new product, the Shank. I'm very excited to finally be releasing this product. I've had this product for a year on my boat. I have tested this under every condition you can imagine. I've been to the thickest lily pad fields on the James River, to the thickest hydrilla, coontail, smartweed, vines, hyacinths, blow-in mats at the delta, tulies, reeds, pencil reeds, cabbage, rice. It does not matter where you go with the Paycheck Bay Shank. It will cut through anything that's in the water. I've run into docks and hung dock ropes hanging off the corner of the dock and cut the ropes. This is a very sharp product. Please use caution when you're up here and you're talking to your buddies and you're leaning on the trolling motor and you're up here talking about how the fishing day and how the, they were biting. Don't lean on this blade and cut your arm off. This is a very sharp product. Be safe around this. This is going to come in handy. It's never going to bend. It's never going to rust. It's heat treated stainless steel. You're never going to lose your edge. You put this on your boat, it's a one-time fix-all. You're ready for grass. And, and I can't stress to you enough how many people, how many pro anglers came up to me last year and said, man, how do you run your trolling motor on such a low speed and get through that grass? Like, you never lift your trolling motor out of the water. You know, I lift my trolling motor every 30 seconds, brr, 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 trying to clean it off, chop grass. You'll never have to pull the rope on this thing unless it's time to leave the spot. The shank will change how you fish grass. I guarantee it. Now that you have that tightened down, it'll hold it in place. Go ahead and get your other hose clamp. You're going to slide it around your trolling motor, and we're going to go ahead and lock the shank into place. So once you get your hose clamp on here, your other hose clamp is holding it in place pretty firm. Just kind of line it up and make sure everything's straight. And it's really simple. You just take your flathead. And the only time-consuming process of this whole installation is, is tightening your hose clamp up. Try to keep your hose clamp nuts on top of the armature up here. When I mean these, these nuts up here stay up on top, that kind of helps it keep weedless and keeps it from snagging any extra grass hanging on it. So once you get your hose clamps tightened down, just go ahead and check them again. Make sure they're really tight. Don't try to tighten them into the breaking point. You don't want to tweak nothing or break nothing or bend it, but just get them tight. Everything's snug. Make sure you check your shank. Make sure everything looks in position. Make sure your prop still has that clearance. You see that nice pinch point right here? That prop's going to pinch any grass that wraps around here. It's going to come right to that blade and it's going to cut it right away. Once you have everything on, you can take your side dikes. And a lot of guys, you know, it doesn't matter to them. A lot of guys don't want a, a loose piece of metal hanging off your hose clamp. So once you get everything locked into place, you know you're good. You know it's going to be here. It isn't going to move once it's tight. You can go ahead and snip these off. And you just snip these back a little bit. 